welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a little um, like beach wave tutorial. This is a look that I've been doing quite recently because um, my straightener is actually broke in half. I, <laughs> I don't really know how they broke because they just fell and the kind of two sections just completely split apart. So I thought about trying to salvage them but I, when I thought about it I think I had them when I was 18 so they're like at least kind of seven or eight years old. <laughs> so one of the things I've been doing to kind of help with that is um, I have these curlers. I've had these for, yeah again I've had these for absolute years. Um, I don't even know what make they are, like Jose something? Can you see that? Yeah it's all rubbed off, I have no idea what make they are but um, this was one of those situations where you go into a shop, they say like, oh, I'm like, you have very beautiful hair or whatever, and then you're like, no thanks, goodbye. But for some reason I was with my mum and I don't know, I think I'd been thinking about getting them. And at the time, God, this is like, probably is like 10 years ago now, she said that you could like touch them and they wouldn't burn your hand and there was like some like ceramic ion technology. But yeah, basically they're just hot. <laughs> they're super hot now, you cannot touch them otherwise your fingers will fall off. Yeah. Basically, if I can stop rambling on, I'm going to be um, doing like beach waves, which I think is super perfect for this weather, like super hot and often it can be easier to do kind of like messy but I meant it type look. Um, and my mum hears me saying that, she's going to be like, that's my thing. Yeah, messy but I meant it is trademark from Adrian Ross. So if you want to see and learn how to do some beach waves, then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, obviously, is have curling tongs. It also works with the ones that are kind of like tapered at the end, but I really like this one. As you can see, compared to like my hand, it is pretty thick and yeah, I think that gives a really nice like wave rather than too much of a tight curl, although in saying that you could easily use probably slightly smaller ones and then just brush them out. Um, you might have noticed already that I have turned them on, I just want to get really nice and warm because I feel like that's when you get the best results. So, um, the first thing that I'm going to do is brush my hair. I washed my hair yesterday so I think that it should be that nice second day and this is kind of when I would recommend it. I have done it like straight after washing my hair and it is okay but I think you do have to use like more, you do have to be prepared for it to fall out a bit more. Oh god I'm just looking myself. <laughs> If you've seen my other tutorial that I have done for hair, it's this kind of like bouncy blow dry and um, this is kind of like the remnants of that from yesterday so it's like not too bad, I'd probably go outside with this. And just as like an aside, as like a mini review, these invisible bubbles are life. This one obviously is like stretched out so giant but if you put them in hot boiling water they actually shrink. Ever since I found out about them which was like before Christmas I've been wearing them pretty much non-stop. For me the biggest thing was like you get this big kink like there when you when you wear a bobble and it kind of wrecks your second day hair. I go to sleep with a bun in like with the, what you just saw at the beginning was like, like that was my hair when I sleep um, and I find if you do like a loose bun and just like put this around it it really makes a huge difference and probably a lot of this is down to the fact that it was in a bun. But anyway, so the first thing that I would do generally, even if, I would say probably even if you've just washed your hair, is stick a little bit of dry shampoo in. The dry shampoo that I'm going to use is the Baptiste. That is um, the tropical flavour. Oh, no. <laughs> no flavour, don't eat it. Yeah, you know what I mean, tropical scented. So I just um, usually just do my roots. And then I'll do the back and then I, I spray. Because my hair is actually clean, I'm just going to brush it out a little. It was just to give it a kind of bit of like holding texture, I guess. 
the next thing that I do, <laughs> oh, this is falling down. <laughs> the next thing that I do is um, I'll just, um, I've only got a little hairspray, but um, my kind of preferred is Elnet. And I used to like Tresemme and things like that, but Elnet for me is like the one I think my nana used to use, and I've just yeah used it ever since. Um, and I'd like to carry these little mini ones around; they're quite handy. So I would just like spray my spool here like this, just to give it. Well, I think this is why my hair is so like thick and long that. It it's really doesn't like to hold a curl. I have naturally wavy hair, but it doesn't really it doesn't really like it. Oh, as per my last video, you can just segment your hair like this. Um, I don't tend to segment like into fours. I really just segment like into into twos. Just make sure it's all nice and brushed out, and just go from the back, from like the kind of lower, like towards your neck and take like not really super thick handful of hair like this getting your curlers move your hair I'm trying to work out what way that is well basically away from you so you want to go away 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 you just hold it there for like I don't know like 10 seconds or so just be careful if your hair is like really blonde and thin that you don't like frazzle off <laughs> we'll probably all see that video where that poor girl frazzles her hair off but yeah and then I kind of just catch it in my hand, like in, like that, and then I just hold it for, I don't know, maybe five or so seconds. You can see there that that's the curl. I would just then give it a little spray, and then I'll back comb it. Just with my like, finger from the bottom, what you do is you kind of like hold the bottom, like from the longest part, and then just kind of very lightly drag up, so it kind of gives it a really really nice bit of like volume if you want as well I, I would say you don't have to um, do the back combing thing um, you can just spray it and then and then just leave it because at the end we'll be brushing it out a little but yeah I just think the back combing gives like a bit of a kind of a nice bit of texture that you don't often get and I find that it means your hair doesn't do that awkward bit where like all your hair twirls in together and your hair just looks like these big two like big giant, two big giant curls. Really the next bit is just to go around your whole head and I kind of go from like bottom to top, bottom to top. When you're going from the top, just make sure that you are going quite close to the root. And sometimes I'll just like push it against my head. I think it's just to kind of lock the heat in. I find that this like step really does help to kind of, I think it does set it. I mean, obviously I'm not a hairdresser. So maybe hairdressers are watching this like, what a shite, what a shite thing to do. <laughs> but yeah, I think that is quite good, so. And then really you just continue that round your whole head. So for the last part, um, just like from your ear over, I then usually try and switch to kind of um, slightly smaller bits. I think this just really helps to um, frame your face a little bit and also doing smaller parts really does help to kind of keep your the front of your face, especially if you're touching it a lot, in. Um, I find like the bigger curls means it just kind of falls out and end, well for me anyway, ends up basically just being like straight strands in front of your face. So you don't have to go like teeny tiny, but um, definitely kind of whatever that you were doing before, then just kind of make them maybe um, about two thirds as big. So you can even see in that one, it's much more curly than the other ones. I think when you do smaller curls, it just always goes a bit more curly. But. And if you don't like your hair to be very curly, like a lot of my friends when I did their hair for our friend's wedding, they were very like anxious that it was going to be like super duper curly. But as soon as you go outside and as soon as you're moving around and touching your hair and all the rest of it, it will, it will fall out a wee bit, so. That's no biggie. So that's one side done. And as you can already see, they're really, really nice waves. At the end, they'll kind of grab it and pull it up a little and that'll give it a really nice kind of texture. 
So now the other side. Oh, I had so much hair. <laughs> camera just turned itself off <laughs> <clears throat> luckily I think I know it's in time so I don't think that we missed too much time together so yeah oh my god it's cold killing me Blah. Um, one of the things that I realized when the camera oh my god I swear I live in like the residential version of Sucky Hill Street or you won't know where that is if you're not from Glasgow it's just a busy wee place. Anyway, so, um, where was I? Yes. Um, can you hear that? <laughs> oh, okay, so what I was going to say there, when you're actually putting your hair around the barrel of the curler, I think it actually does matter, like, how, how you put it around it. So how I do it is I leave it flat like that and then without letting the hair go I keep it in my hand and I kind of wrap it round so it ends up being very um, twisted, twisted round it rather than it being um, flat against the barrel if you, if you know what I mean. So if you do it flat it does turn into more of like a, a proper like, I don't know what her name is, like Shirley Temple curl. I mean, Shirley Temple's got her own stuff going on, but if that's not what you're looking for, that's the reason why you're not achieving it, is because you might be putting it around the barrel incorrectly. I think it's so so funny, I, like when I was checking to see if the video had recorded or not, I noticed that like when in my face, when I'm like doing my hair, I look like so mean and serious, like proper wrestling bitch face. And I would, I'm not, I mean, I don't think I am. Maybe I'm just delusional. I'm not like a resting bitch face type person. I think I am like genuinely quite a smiley person. So, I mean, I guess. Just keep going. Oh my God, I swear I'm never gonna finish <laughs> this shitting video. My car just keep dying. My washing machine is beeping. <laughs> The world's telling me to stop filming. Yeah, I don't even know like if you're missing out on any of the things that I've, all this wisdom I'm imparting and it's all getting lost to this stupid cat. <laughs> oh, kill myself. Okay, so. Oh, that was a good one. It's funny, like, sometimes you get one here, like, yes. Oh, look at that curl. So bouncer. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm just going to quickly get these ones away. <laughs> very, very bouncy. Yeah, as you can see on this side, it's, like, super super bouncy and then already even just through filming and like having to answer the door um this side has fallen down but i'm i think you have to be realistic that it's unless you're using some crazy industrial hairspray in which case please tell me about it it's not really gonna gonna stay one of the good things about this particular style is that because we've kind of back combed it like this which you can keep doing i do it like throughout the day as you can even see from just a bit at the front you can just like grab a curl and then kind of like pull it up and it gives that nice voluminous voluminous look um if like me your hair kind of mirrors horse's hair or something of the equivalent this is something i've actually started to use it's the garni ultimate blends sleek perfector oil and i've been really trying to find something like this or something because i used to use this umberto i think it's umberto gianni that could be so wrong and it's like the spray and it's like shine spray and i really loved it i don't actually know how much i like using oil but just put a tiny tiny bit on your hands just very lightly kind of touch just like caress your hair i like to do it 
not at the roots but just here because that's the bits I get frizziest and then you can just kind of scratch and there you go so that is um, my beach waves and as I say this look is so good for if you're I mean if you're actually going to the beach, if you are going to the beach then do use a textured like sea salt spray, it'll really give it that nice like beachy feel and it's really simple, lasts for ages and yeah it's really great because if it does get a bit messy you can zhuzh it up or you can just let it fall down to be really natural loose waves. So thank you so much for watching, if you actually made it to the end then I love you, please have my babies and please subscribe. I'm trying to build this channel a little bit and I'm sure that if you watch YouTube then you'll know how everyone just loves it when you subscribe to them. So please subscribe to me um, and check out my blog page if you have not done so already. Thanks so much. Bye!